What's going on everybody? It's your boy. I'm back. Jumpstart January 2016. This is a tag video. The New Year's resolution tag video. Mm. Really quickly, before I get started, and you know, oh wow, and this thing wants to unfocus. Hold on you guys. See if we can get that working. Really? <sighs> Hold on. There we go. Hey, when it does that. All right. Um, with Jumpstart January, I am going to make an attempt to put out a video every day. I say attempt because uh, it looks like January for me is going to be rough and rocky because there's so much stuff uh, job related that I'm going to have to do. And some of it is probably going to keep me late. Uh, fingers crossed. I hope that does not happen. But there's a lot of stuff happening in January. So with that being said, I will make an attempt. But also with that, I won't be doing the themed uh, weeks because uh, the way that my schedule is set up for this month, it's just going to require too much. And for already what I do on a week to week basis from certain reviews to the shout out Saturdays to now the uh, panel talks on Saturdays and even my trending topics uh, video on Sunday, just with the way that my schedule is set up, I just won't be able to commit to that. But I will attempt to get you guys a video every day this month. Meaning, keyword is attempt, that if I don't, I didn't commit to it, so. Ting! All right, get through these questions. Number one, if you had to choose one word that, I'm sorry, one word that represents the year you had in 2015, what would it be? Fucking chaotic. <clears throat> so much shit happened in 2015. Uh, like um, like I said, if you guys haven't already noticed, I've al I've done the um, the uh, the panel video, and uh, like I said, you guys will see it. And <clears throat> if you guys haven't already seen it, like I said, um, I will leave a link when it actually gets posted, because you know. But um, yeah, talked about the good, the bad, and the ugly. But trust me when I say, I mean there was good, but uh, the good did not outweigh the bad. But I know how to you know focus on the good so but chaotic what word would you choose to represent your goals in 2016 brand brand i like i said i mean I, i've already uh started to build my brand like honestly when i came to youtube it was only just to be able to come on and be y'all real because you know, throughout the day, most of my day, I'm not Yarell. I have to be another version of myself. So I get to come on camera and be myself. But as I've been going on, I'm just like, okay, well, this, you know, I can still give you guys me and brand myself at the same exact time. So 2016 is going to be about me branding myself. You know, like I said, I'm, <clears throat> I'm doing a lot of fitness related stuff because that right, like I said, that's that's where my mind is right now. So you guys are gonna get a lot of those videos, whether it's me in the gym, that is probably gonna come later on this year. But you know, <clears throat> that type of stuff, you know, more intense uh, monthly challenges in the kitchen segment is not only geared towards just regular food, but you know, fitness related food where it's like you can still have good stuff and you know, play around with the calories and whatnot and just take you on that journey. <clears throat> not to mention, you know, um, other companies reaching out to me if you guys didn't already see, I will try to leave a link in this video if I remember, because y'all know I'm busy. But, you know, a company even reached out to me to do a product review on their, you know, particular item. So I have companies, you know, requesting that I do reviews on their particular, you know, uh, stuff. So pretty much just, uh, you know, branding myself and just solidifying who I am and what I do and trying to really reach out and <clears throat> I guess make myself more marketable. You know, that, that type of thing. So. 2016 should be, for me, is going to be a year of branding. Pending everything goes the way that I plan it. But again, you know, things will happen. How old will you turn 2016? Dirty motherfucking 30. Okay. Part of the reason why I'm trying to, you know, get this body to fuck together. You know, I, I could have gave y'all sex at 275, but I'm trying to give y'all motherfucking dripping, oozing motherfucking sex at 190 pounds. That's what I'm aiming for now. I sell for 200, but I'm aiming for 190. Stunting on y'all ass. Any 2016 travel plans? Yes, I plan on traveling to Vegas. And I'm gonna leave it at that. 
Um, if you could travel anywhere in 2016, where would you go? That's a, that is a good question. Um, if I could travel, where would I go? I don't know. I think that I would probably go back to Korea to correct what I didn't do. And what I mean by that is I was in Korea for two years and anyone that knows me will like they like when it comes to <clears throat> work is two aspects of me. And I think I've changed the colors on screen anyway. I am very, very uh, work focused. Like when it comes to doing my job, like I am like zoned in on doing that. So when I got to Korea, like the first month I was partying, like the last month and a half I was partying and everything in between, it was just work, 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 work. So if I went to Korea again, more or less to do more time over there, I would definitely do more traveling and more exploring to really have a story to tell. <laughs> But um yeah, it would be for that and um yeah, it would be to go back and also uh a lot, um <clears throat> some of the uh Koreans that I met over there, you know, they were great people and just being able to like go back and we all see each other in like a different light and then just cut the fuck up, like that would be awesome. Okay, um if you could change any bad habit in 2016, what would it be? Hmm. I would say just gorging. <laughs> Cause that one got my ass in trouble. <laughs> I have to work all this shit off. Cause I love I love food. And you know, I know when I'm satisfied. But sometimes I'm just a glutton fucking fool and I eat past being satisfied to being full. There's a difference between being satisfied and being full. And most of the, and what and just a little tidbit, most people don't understand that it's it takes 20 minutes after you're done eating for your body to fully register that you've had enough. So if you're just gorging and like if you're just putting it down and not taking your time and eating by the time you're done eating, that's when some people feel like so nauseous and whatnot because of that. So Probably not being too much of a glutton fool. Change that habit. Name a trend you like to see continue from 2015 to 2016. <clears throat> Honestly, I would say in the YouTube community, there was like so much support going on in 2015. I would love to see that continue. Just the support and the selflessness. I would love to see that continue. The official cause of 2016 are Rose Quartz and Serenity. Show us something you own that's Rose Quartz or Serenity. I don't know shit about them motherfucking colors. Shit. Moving on. <laughs> what change would you like to see made to your home in 2016? Well, I stay by myself with, with the exception of having a roommate. So there's really no changes here, but if it's all about home in terms of where my heart is, it would just be more unity and you know more just openness about shit and i'm gonna leave it at that and if any of my family is watching y'all know what the fuck i'm talking about and what is your 2016 new year resolution honestly it's just to be better to myself um like i said if we go the uh astrology route being a capricorn we we give so much of ourselves we do we will give and give and give and a lot of times we neglect ourselves in the process <clears throat> now at the same exact time when we do that we give but what people don't realize is there's that caution tag of us giving because if you sit here and burn us or you know fuck us over you are about to you know uh, receive a wrath that you are not quite ready for so it will pro and it because i give so much of myself to others i don't never i hardly leave enough time for me so probably just you know spending more time with myself even though i spend a lot of time with myself but truly like giving myself more time and actually just you know doing right by me so that will be my new year's resolution nothing too crazy and i think that's obtainable because i would say oh i want to lose weight have y'all not seen my ass getting slender and shit i'm already in that bitches but uh, that's all I have. This is my New Year's resolution tag for Jumpstart January 2016. If you guys have not done this tag, by all means, go ahead and jump on it. Hey, And, uh, yeah, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Happy New Year!